Hi everyone. So let's talk about Nest.js course. So our initial videos we will just talk about okay what Nest.js is offering and how Nest.js is different from the Express TypeScript or any other framework. And another thing is why developers should choose Nest.js. I mean what what Nest.js is offering which is attracting developers to write and building the API is using Nest.js. So let's try to understand the difference. So what is Express? Express is actually a minimalistic, uh, you can say the framework for Node.js, right? Even if you go to the Express and try to understand, there is, there is nothing much to explore because Express is just a minimalistic MVC non-opinionated. You can write ex the code in Express in your own structure following your own standard or your own guideline. If there is another person who opening according uh, express JS code likhega. I mean there are many ways in which you can just design your folder structure. It gives you complete freedom. That's why it is unopinionated. Ye basic project structure hai and here you see the type CS config hai paas because it's a TypeScript project. Okay, package JSON hai, node mon hai. Now, why we are calling NestJS is a framework, not a minimalistic unopinionated because Nest.js is providing a set of structures. Talk about the Nest.js first, then we'll go to the Express. Here, if you see, I mean, uh, let's come to the. Obviously, we are writing TypeScript, so TS config may chahiye, ORM config if you want to connect to the database. If you look into the source folder, here you see I have just a domain, and here I have created a controllers, factories, services. Inside shared, you can create a core modules, structured modules, and all. We'll talk about these things in the detail, like K by Nest.js. What are these things? But they are providing a proper structure. Ki restaurant APIs mujhe banana hai. Uske andar controller hoga, DT hoga for validation, entity for database, interfaces, services, utility. Apart from that, what additionally Nest.js is offering? Nest.js is a framework. Agar aapko configuration management chahiye. If I want to just manage the configuration, I can just use the Nest.js config. So this is my Express TypeScript. I mean, I try to do it really very nicely, but still, I have to be dependent on. Let's say I want to manage the environment .env. But in Nest.js, I have Nest.js config, Nest.js logger, all these custom built module like Nest.js Mongoose has a nice integration, and I don't need to write these types explicitly in my code because when I'm using Nest.js, it has it. It is like the rich of the TypeScript. So, मुझे वहाँ पे TypeScript की tension नहीं I will be using classes, decorators, full blown object oriented concept होंगे. I'm just creating a ORM, all these classes, objects and all. यहाँ पे I have freedom. I can just skip them and then I have to manually add the types. You can see Express dot application. And I have to do all those things structurally. You can see in the app, ke andar kya -kya kar I connect to database, initialize middleware, controller, error handling. I mean, there is no proper structured way. But Nest.js is handling all these things in its own way of initializing modules. Okay, pehle bootstrap karta application, then connect to database, load all the routers, and initialize the application later, right? Here we have to do manually by ourselves. Okay. I'm saying oh, I connect to database, initialize middleware, initialize controller, initialize error handling. No. Nest.js has its own uh, managing of modules. Here you can see we are uh, end up adding lots of middleware also, like body parts or cookie parts. This is not in Nest.js. We are just writing and here connect to database, mongoose.connect. So, I mean, Express is giving you more freedom, I will say. When it comes to you can just plug and play with anything. But Nest.js yes, when it comes to proper structuring and proper integration and having a proper structure of the code, then I always choose Nest.js. Yes. Nest.js yes code looks more like Angular code. Angular me them controllers. I mean we write com component there, component services, providers, modules, shared modules, core modules. Similarly, you can see we are writing these modules. Config module. Now config module will have its own services. Restaurant controller instead instead of component here we are creating router controller and then there, there are services. What services are doing? Services are connecting to database and it has these dependency injection IOC container. Ye bada advantage hai ka. 
at whatever the data integration or database layer i need to interact i will be just injecting their dependencies now i got the dependencies like uh, i got the restaurant repository which is nothing but representing me a database table jo database ki table hai wo is repository represent ho rahi hai i can just do dot find find one database operations easily perform ho sakte hain that is the biggest advantage or its typescript support and proper modular structure are really very popular and the ioc container and dependency injection framework jo ki uh, express or these mvc framework doesn't have आपको डिपेंडेंसी इंजेक्शन करना है तो देर इज नो एनी अदर वे यू माइट बी यूजिंग इनवर्सिफाई और कुछ अदर मॉड्यूल यूज करना पड़ेगा बट यहाँ डिपेंडेंसी इंजेक्शन कैसे हो रहा है देखो ये सर्विस है एप सर्विस ओके आई एडिट दिस इंजेक्टेबल नाउ दिस सर्विस कैन बी एडिड इन साइड द कंट्रोलर समथिंग लाइक दिस राइट सिंपली हेल्थ चेक सर्विस तो प्राइवेट रीड ओनली हेल्थ चेक सर्विस एंड देन यू कैन जस्ट कॉल दिस हेल्थ चेक सर्विस जस्ट बाई कॉलिंग द मैथड्स here if you see in the controller controller mein inject kiya maine service ko and then from the controller i can call the service so this is called dependency injection which is not there anywhere you can just use external middleware or external library to introduce this in your express so using this di framework you don't need to worry about creating the object ab mujhe se restaurant service class ko use karna hai is controller ke andar एक क्लास को दूसरी क्लास के अंदर यूज करना ये समझ लो आप ये सिक्स क्लासेस है तो मुझे न्यू क्लास बी इक्वल टू न्यू क्लास ऐसा कुछ करना पड़ेगा इंस्टेंशिएट करना पड़ेगा ऑब्जेक्ट को बट यहाँ पे कंस्ट्रक्टर इंजेक्शन है दैट इज द बिगेस्ट डिफरेंस एंड दैट्स व्हाई अब ये समझ लो कि नेक्स्ट ये इज लाइक जैसे जावा में स्प्रिंग हाइब्रेड पड़ा होगा अगर इफ यू इफ यू हैव गॉन थ्रू दे आर लाइक मोर ऑब्जेक्ट ओरिएंटेड where you are writing a dependency injection classes uh, interfaces all these things you are writing because you want a proper enterprise level build application not like simple mvc without just using any structure just create a rest apis with http get put post because wo express js mein aap simple ek line mein bhi ek file mein bhi sab kuch likh sakte ho http express const app equal to express and then app dot get put post delete patch वो सब नेक्स्ट चेस में नहीं नेक्स्ट चेस प्रोवाइड अ प्रॉपर स्ट्रक्चरिंग एंड हैव अ गुड नाइस टाइप स्क्रिप्ट सपोर्ट अनदर मेजर एडवांटेज इज इट हैज अ नाइस इंटीग्रेशन विद एक्सटर्नल मॉड्यूल्स लाइक टाइप ओ आर एम नेक्स्ट चेस टाइप ओ आर एम मुंगूज नेक्स्ट चेस मुंगूज सीक्वलाइज नेक्स्ट चेस सीक्वलाइज फॉर ऑल द डिफरेंट डेटा बेसिस फॉर ऑल द थर्ड पार्टी इंटरफेसिस देर इज अ लाइब्रेरी अवेलेबल ओके सो यू डोंट नीड टू जस्ट वरी अबाउट हाउ टू इंटीग्रेट विद दैट थिंग हाउ टू इंटीग्रेट विद दिस थिंग दिस इज अबाउट सम कोड डिफरेंसेज एट कोड लेवल मैंने फीचर लेवल पर तो गया ही नहीं भाई एक्सप्रेस में क्या कर सकते हो एक्सप्रेस सिंपल एम बी सी आप बना सकते हो देर ऑल्सो यू राइट अ सिंपल कंट्रोलर और सर्विस बट वहाँ पर डिपेंडेंसी इंजेक्शन जैसा कुछ है नहीं यू इंस्टेंशिएट द ऑब्जेक्ट यूजिंग न्यू की वर्ड एट एवरीवेयर एंड इट्स अन ओपिनियटेड मतलब आई एम राइटिंग एन एक्सप्रेस कोड इन माई ओन वे माई फ्रेंड माइट बी डूइंग समथिंग एल्स वो टोटली डिफरेंट स्ट्रक्चर यूज करके नया एप्लीकेशन बिल्ड कर दे so for enterprise build you always look for some something scalable some things using proper standard usme fir nest js ko hi hum use karenge so this is the core, core differences in the next video we'll talk about why only why no nest js i mean we have koa happy so itne sare framework hai why only nest js